What's going on Fight Camp? This is SGX Sports. Welcome your faces back to a brand new video. Something a little bit different from myself then. This is the Amanda Nunes 4 star card and we're going to be doing a little review on it and I'm going to be showing you what sort of slot she has and what sort of ground slot she has as well. This card is amazing like I'm not on my normal account I'm not on my YouTube account which you guys see on the videos and stuff I am actually on a mates account he has unlocked Nunes and this card I have to say is really 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 good I know brand new Mac he's enjoying playing with her as well that sounded wrong but I didn't think I, I would enjoy it I've been doing his dailies today uh, which is Friday's time of recording and literally I'm having so much fun with her I feel so confident going into fights with this card it is amazing it is a brawler style fighter but if i i can't get over how good it is like literally i cannot get over how good it is so on the arm slot she has six on the leg she also has five perfect perfect stats because that is basically a striker stand-up gold card you get on the goals on the stand-up on a gold card you will get for a striker, you get six in the arm and five in the leg. The grappling, you get three in the clinch, three on the takedown, two on the ground, and two on the submission. So if you're like myself that likes to stand and bang with people, but you're afraid that when you get taken down that that's it, then the fight is over, not with this card. Not with this card. You have got the extra slots and you can put on good cards that will give you that better sort of defense that you need now if we take a look at the stand up then what i've actually done is it's a bit weird how i've done the grounded uh, the grappling side of things but we take a look at the speed here it's 98 the power's 94 accuracy is 87 a block is a, is a bit weak but i'm not a massive fan of getting that block up head movement 89 footwork 88 and my switching stance is 62 but this card look at look them stats alone are just brilliant they're perfect we go on to the ground one if you look at my ground my takedown is on 87 my takedown defense is on 69 my top is 88 but my sub offense is on 92 now i could take off a lot of sub, sub offense but i can change it to the bottom but i like to try and summit people out with this car because what i've noticed when i've been fighting with her you know, i've had about four or five fights with her is that when I get taken to the ground, I'm looking to do that submission straight away. Like, block that transition and get that submission in. Yes, if anything, my bottom could work. But that's just how I've actually worked it myself. But you could improve the top, you could improve the takedown, and you could improve the bottom by quite significantly, quite a lot. Also, another thing. We tab over to training and look at this. You get eight boost slots to put on endurance your stamina your, your grappling stamina now look at that my striking stamina is 97 my grappling stamina is 92 my endurance is 95 and my chin is 90 perfect what a card this is and if i if out of all the sets i would highly recommend this one it is spoke about quite a lot in the community very very well spoke of i have to say I've not heard people say about the Conor McGregor. The Whitaker card, I've heard people slag off saying they're not thought what it is. I think that is a balanced card. I'm not 100% sure if it is or it isn't. Um, but a lot of people saying that Robert Whitaker, his card just doesn't, it just doesn't work for them. So bear that in mind, boys. If you have all these wildcard tokens and you've got all these fighters saved up, just be, be wise. I would highly recommend unlocking this Nunes card without question. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to go into a fight with her right now, uh, and we're just going to I'm just going to show you how what's the word I'm looking for. I'm going to show you how capable she is in fight. I feel so confident when I'm going into a fight without question. Like I don't get scared anymore. Like there's always that worry when you're a striker fighter like myself. Is if your opponent takes you to the ground, you know exactly. What's going to happen? He's either going to submit you or he's even going to just ground and pound you and just block your transitions and that you, you, it's frustrating. With this card, it's so, so confident. I am I feel confident in going to the ground with her. Yes, my, my ground stats, okay, they're not the greatest in terms of the bottom and top, but the sub um is pretty worth it. So if we do get to the ground, I will be looking to submit my opponent. That's my strategy that I do. So if we do get taken down, that's the route we go down. But we're going to try and stand and bang. Big shout out to this funny mech here. I think I fought this guy earlier on today on my uh, on my main account when I was doing my dailies for that. And he is a decent fight if I remember rightly. But this Nunes, honestly boys, she's amazing. Like the speed of her, 
her, everything about her, she's just so good. She's so, so light on her feet. She's just, I just feel so confident in, in fighting with her. Now it's looking like Funny Mech is wanting to stand and bang with us. But watch me go get beat now. Big her up that much. We'll go and get absolutely destroyed. That overhand, I need to watch out for that. My block is weak as well. I could have improved my block, but I wanted the stats to be like there was. Okay, we'll just calm down. It's been a bit of a, a scrappy, sluggish start from myself. Oh, okay. Nice one here. Just to give you an idea of what she's capable of, boys. Like, I'll stand and bang with her. If I, knock, if I don't knock her out by round two, or into the, into the second round, I'll look for the takedown so you guys get a good a good representation of... Um, of the card now basically right now as we're doing standing banging it's a grappler uh, no sorry it's a striker card that's basically what it is with a few additional boost slots available to our arsenal that is basically what it is so far but it's having that ground she's wanting to go to the ground as well okay not a problem i did try to look for the uppercut then how is she beating me to jabs when she's throwing overhands that's one thing i don't understand sometimes the game can be a bit retarded i'm not going to stress out i'm not going to rage oh Right, I need to get out of here, man. Jesus Christ. The pressure from her is relentless. There we go. If your feet are planted with a Nunez, it feels so much quicker than a, than a, a, a gold card, a three-star card. There we go. This shit's combo nearly worked then. She's just so... Oh, my stamina's low. She's just, I, I just feel so confident. When you rock your opponent, it wasn't a good example then. But because you're grappling and you're striking stamina and endurance is all high, you can you feel like you can go for it a bit better than what you would with a three-star card. But I really enjoy fighting with her. I feel so confident and so comfortable in the fight. There we go. Right, the block's weak. That should be a knockdown. Yeah, it is. Like, I can jump on her, and I feel confident in jumping on her because of the way that her ground stats are. Saying that, she just reversed me and got straight back up. Nope, she just reversed me. I thought she was going to get up then. Uh, we need to watch out for the submission. And I did block that. And I did I did block that, and I don't know why it didn't... Oh, no. My sub-defense is shit. Well, this is where we get tapped, boys. This is the what. This is the only thing, but it's my own doing. Is this because of the attributes I've added onto the card? The, the, the bell might save. She's got five gates. We're out anyway. We escaped. Ooh, that was close. That was close. It would have been very close if she'd have flicked the stick, the left analog stick, in the right direction. The bell may have saved us then. So I need to be wary of that taking to the ground. I've picked her up. Yeah, I feel comfortable with taking her, going onto the ground with her. I get straight into a submission. What the hell? <laughs> just the way it goes isn't it you know come to sit down to record and then that sort of thing happens now, this card is perfect for me as a striker I'm pretty decent on the ground as well oh I should have gone for the uppercut then um, it's in my perfect stance it's the striking and the stand up and then I do like to mix in a few uh, there we go I'm going to finish the fight here there we go that is it oh no maybe it isn't no love you're not need no 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 Right, I'm gonna go back flat, and then hopefully she'll transition into. Go for re-naked. Let's try it. I know her stamina is full, so we might not be able to get out of it. Um, she's a focus and concentrate here. It's on four gate. She's getting out. She's getting out. No, she's not. I think we're gonna tap her here, boys. I think we're gonna tap her here, and there we go. We've managed to tap her. Is it? That's what I mean, like. That's why I had the sub offence on what it was. That is just. That is just what I. That's what I do with Amanda Nunes. I just feel so confident. If you know how to do submissions and you you feel like when you knock her down, you can get to the. You can get to the ground and pound her, maybe finish it. If not, get her in a submission. That's just me. That's just the way I, I like to fight. Um, and it's perfect for my fighting style. If you're pretty. If you're half decent on the ground. And you like to stand on bank, Nunes is the one card for you. Save them wildcard tokens, save them fighters up, and get 
Amanda Nunes. You will not be disappointed. I'm going to wrap up today's video, boys. Thank you so much for watching. Big shout out to Funky Mac for featuring in this review. I've been Esther Hits Parts, and I will see you on another video. And goodbye.